Welcome back. In this video, you will talk about melanoma. It's a form of skin cancer that mainly occurs in sun-exposed areas. Patients with lighter skin are more prone to developing this condition. We can clinically differentiate between benign and malignant melanoma using the mnemonic A, B, C, D, E. A for asymmetry. An asymmetrical melanoma is of course malignant because a lot of melanocyte cells are dividing in all directions. On the other hand, a round melanoma is benign. B for borders. High multiplication process is indicated by uneven borders. On the other hand, if you had an even border, then it's likely benign. C for color. Homogeneity is good and benign. Heterogeneity, again, correlates with high multiplication process. And of course, malignant melanoma. D for diameter or size, anything larger than 6 mm is considered malignant. And finally, E for evolution. Basically, the more it grows over time, the more malignant it is. The best diagnostic method is full thickness biopsy and not a shave biopsy. Melanoma is very likely to metastasize. The deeper down the melanoma goes, or the more vertical space it occupies, the more likely it is to metastasize elsewhere. So it is crucial that we diagnose it and take it out as soon as possible. Unfortunately, if it does metastasize, it favors the brain. The treatment is simply surgical excision, and be very generous when you take out the safe margins. If it does metastasize, however, the treatment is medical therapy to reach out the small cells here and there that we cannot otherwise surgically remove. We use phosphodiesterase 1 inhibitors, such as nivolumab, CTLA4 inhibitors, like epilimumab, interleukin-2, and very interestingly, we can use a modified herpes virus that we inject into the patient and this virus often kills the tumor. This is called telemogene. Certain patients have a specific mutation in the melanoma gene, and we can target this mutation to kill the melanoma. For example, if a patient had BRAF mutation, we can use dabrafenib. And if the patient had CKT mutation, which is very common, we can use imatinib. And here's a small quiz. Which of the following tumor markers correlates with melanoma? And the answer is S100. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helped.